What is going on, guys? Wise here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random week matchup, uh, matched up against this clan called Peaceful. Uh, they are a war clan. Uh, we'll just jump right in and check out some of the details here. Um, so that was giving me trouble. Let's see. Uh, 112 to 96 2.0 did come away with the victory, but um, you know, shout out to these guys. They gave it their all, gave it their best. Um, you know, whenever we read a description like this going into a um, you know a random matchup. Uh, we definitely know we definitely don't take our foot off the pedal, right? We know based on you know Warclan, uh, combine sixty heroes for TH elevens, combine fifty for TH tens, combine twenty five for TH nines. You know, no egos. Da 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 da. da. Um, when we read something like that, we know at least there are standards set within the clan. Um, so so absolutely, we uh, we we wanted to give it our best this war, and actually had a lot of really good successes. Let's just kind of check out um, our bases here real quick. They did leave. Um, sorry, a couple 11s, two 11s on the board there, uh, a few, a bunch of the 10s there. Uh, they didn't have a lot of uh, Town Hall 10 attempts and ended up leaving a few 9s on the board. So that ended up, that was their uh, ultimate demise. Um, you can check uh, 2.0. Got quite a few Town Hall 10 triples in there. A lot of them were uh, the 11 bullies, but we did secure, uh, you know, Dennis there, Jacob. Use Maverick on one, Effie, Jacob. Uh, BP with the TH11 triple, that was really nice. Uh, Dennis again. So we did secure a lot of those Town Hall 11s with our Town Hall 10s. So then that really let our uh, Town Hall 11s just go to town. Although I do have quite a few, uh, or at least a few Town Hall 10 triples to show you. Let's just start in actually. Um, one of the requests I've been getting is a lot of guys who are Town Hall 11 uh, in clans that get a lot of farm wars. Uh, a lot of the time have to hit max Town Hall 10s. Um, so sorry, we're not going to start with that one. We're going to start with this one. So this is unique going in against their uh, top Town Hall 10. Uh, basically a max Town Hall 10. A little bit lower level heroes there. Obviously a couple little things left to go like those walls. Um, but this is uh, TU's new little... Uh, Style, um, mainly for bullies. Uh, again, Town Hall 11 is so so crazy hard now. Actually, ten versus ten is really hard. Um, you know, I, I really, really am not too happy with the state of Town Hall 10 specifically. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute, though. I just want to explain to you his thought process here. So he's got, I believe he brought um, so two healers, right, uh, kind of on the outsides, keeping the bowlers everything kind of uh, topped up in the core here. Poisons go down. <clears throat> bowlers are just going to smash right into this core. Just old school style, right? Like pretty much um, all fine and dandy. The only little difference is he brings eight balloons. He finds enough for um, the 40 troops base to bring eight balloons. And look at the value they end up getting. Takes out a couple arch towers on the outside. I think he ends up getting this cannon. Uh, nice little haste spell there. Throw thing, throws things right on top of it. Gets things right over to these two point defense. Has even a couple he's going to drop over here. Does lose the queen over here, but no big deal. As you can see, the balloons are just going to kind of help pick off all these outer point defenses. Uh, nice timing on the goal and pathing over here. Gets the balloon to sort of tank the Arch Tower uh, for one. Might have been a little early on that balloon because this goal was coming right in. Would have done the tanking. And in come these few balloons. You get protected by the Grand Warden there. So that is nice as well. They end up taking care of the Bomb Tower and heading on over and taking care of that last defense remaining. He's got a couple Wizards. Minis around the base doing cleanup. So really nice job. It's a little uh, Town Hall 11 Go, go Bolo. As for that. That is a treat in the bag. This little bully to you. So you're going to find um, predominantly in this recap and just sort of uh, it's kind of the, the conclusion we're coming to what I was just talking about it with the state of Town Hall 10 and um, you know the game the game's a little pretty frustrating right now and I mean I, like I, I was just talking to, to TU actually um, about it and it's you know hard I can handle I enjoy the challenge and I'm not saying I don't want to use the word impossible because it's definitely not impossible to, to three star a town hall 10 but you got to get pretty lucky in these attacks I mean you can do have perfect planning and the slightest thing goes wrong and it means you're not going to get it and it's not even that it's just really hard to explain the only way I can explain it is I'm not finding it 
fun because you do put in a substantial amount of planning and the success rate return you're getting from said planning just isn't giving you, you know, the satisfaction you need. You're not, you're not getting enough successes uh, based on the amount of work you're putting in. And it kind of sucks. It, it really does. It, it takes the fun out of the game. Right? I mean, a huge piece of time on mine was, yeah, you had to put in your planning. Um, and when you came away with it, it was awesome. And, and it's the same thing. It's kind of every now and then when you do get a town hall 10 triple, it is like, oh, my God, rejoice. But it's just it, it, it needs it needs to be addressed. I really think that needs to be their focus. Town Hall 11 is just going to sort of fall in line. It's super powerful right now. You know, we're practicing. We're, uh, we're doing a little uh, – sort of midweek drill in 2.0 right now, doing a little family thing. We got all the 11s or most of our 11s on one side. We make clans for this. And most of our 10s or a lot of our 10s, I think it's like a 15 versus 15. So it's 10s versus 11. So all the 10s are, are hitting 11s, trying to get comfortable. And man, it is tough. And those extra walls, the extra strong point defense now, like it's no joke. And so what does that mean? That means it's super hard. It's really, really hard. And I'm not, as you can see here, by no means are these bases up here, um, super high caliber max at war bases, but still, you know, we got our tens doing work up here and that's great, but that only gives you so much satisfaction compared to getting, you know, getting that three star. And, you know, and, and then what about town hall 11s? If town hall 10 isn't, super realistic that you can plan properly and, and come away with three stars then with that leaves town hall 11 always kind of having to dip down and bully and they don't want that either like why can't 11 should be hitting 11s i don't know i just i just think it's a big piece of the game now they i really hope they're looking at i know they are um in some fashion but uh, i just hope they get it right finally anyways sorry enough of my blabbing about that we're gonna jump in i think it was 21 yeah shawnee boy Bring in the Go Hobo, Town Hall 10. Definitely is very viable. You know, guys, against these, and, and when I say, you know, what I'm finding is against level one and two Inferno Towers, it, it's it's um, it's definitely a lot more possible. It's a lot more realistic. You see guys come away with a lot more triples, but once you add those level three Inferno Towers in there, once you get, you know, more, you know, closer to level 40 heroes, you know, obviously there's an all Town Hall nine point defense, right? So, yeah, these, these bases are are able to be tripled. Um, you know, Sean just brings a pretty standard go -go here, jumps in with all the bowlers, has basically taken out 40% of the base from the 10 to 2 position here, and just sends in the hogs, right? These level 2 infernos do not kill the hogs fast enough. Look at that. Go ahead. Let's go right in. <laughs> Take out the inferno, get the heal spell down. Fortunately, does lose a little triple bomb there. You know, the hogs can walk through a DGB now. They cannot walk through it. TGB, um, but he's got enough. He's, he's got so many more coming in from the six. They're just going to work their way, way around. One more heal spell for this last little compartment. Keep these hoggies moving on through the base. <clears throat> a couple uh, a couple minis on the outside start doing some cleanup. Just got to work through those last few defenses, and these hogs are going to work around and do the rest of this cleanup. Nice job, Sean. I don't know what it's going to take either in terms of balancing, but I know I, I know a lot of people might not agree with me, um, but I feel like a lot of people do agree with me. Like Town Hall 10 versus 10. I feel like we, you know, since they nerfed the miners, we all we did was regressed for Town Hall 11 back to bowlers or versions of using a mass bowler type attack where we were right before miners became so powerful and go and boner attacks became so predominant but we didn't really we revert we made town hall 10 more difficult in the process and didn't and didn't when we reverted back to that state we didn't even make it easier for town hall 10s we made it harder because now town hall 11s have way more crap to deal with and harder you know harder hitting defenses and town hall 10 didn't get anything like i just i don't know I don't know. I just don't, I don't understand. You know, I'm getting close to max on my town hall 10 and I'm finding, I'm just finding it crazy that, that the balance in, in my opinion is so up. I watch guys like Zerds, you know, and ice and guys that I've seen at in 2.0 at town hall 10 for a very long time. And Jamie just plan and plan and plan. 
And it must, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm about to swap my accounts and, and go to 10. But it must get so freaking disheartening with the overall success rate against, you know, max difficult, well thought of bases because it's just crazy. I don't know. It's just, it's nuts. And I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just, it's, it's so hard. It seems that it's going to suck the fun out of it and in turn have an even worse effect because people are just going to stop playing. Um, you know, like I'm going to focus on a lot of friendly challenges when I go to 10. Like right now, all I do is friendly challenge on my nine and farm on my 10. Well, once Wiser goes up to 10, then it's going to flip, right? I'm just going to friendly challenge on my max 10 and farm Wiser. So, you know, I'm going to get a good taste over the next little while, see how the anything that Supercell might do. Um, but it's just crazy. I mean, I, I'm loving the hogs. I think that was a step in the right direction. You know, as you can see, um, come on, here's the cat. Jeez, <laughs> Apparently cats love plastic bags. That was that noise in the background. Um, anyhow, I was saying, I, I'm loving the idea behind the hogs. See, look at that. Standing in the heel, walk right through that DGB. No big deal, right? So that is making it a little better. Um, I am trying to go ho a lot of bases or go hobo a lot of bases. Uh, just because you can get those large pushes into the base, take care of an inferno tower. But you can see this, like, hanging on by the skin of your teeth and like i'm pretty sure all these hogs almost end up dying yeah i think they died of this cannon down here but he's got just enough right left in the queen like barely comes away and sort of again like i said sort of lucky like imagine this queen stood there and just beat on that wall to get through there and then went over here she wouldn't have been busted through here i don't know like time again that hog one hog goes over to this storage, you know, I don't know. I just, great attack surge, it's awesome. I'm not trying to say, take anything away because these are not easy to do, guys. And, uh, but there is a certain amount of luck now, whereas I find Town Hall 9, a lot of it was just planning and execution. And for Town Hall 10, it's planning, execution, and a little bit of luck because, you know, you got to, at the end of the raid, it's so, you know, you can, you can sort of judge your pathing of most of your troops through most of the raid. But by the time, you know, you're into the final 45 seconds of the raid, there is a pretty damn good chance you have no fucking clue where your troops are going to be or exactly what they're going to be doing. You kind of have an idea, but it, it takes a little bit of luck. It takes a little bit of, of, you know, proper selection from your troops of which buildings and which walls and and at Town Hall 10, it's so important because a lot of the times it just, you're hanging on by the skin of your teeth. Just so crazy. I really, really hope they make justice. And again, I hope it doesn't go the opposite way. I want, I started this off by saying, I accept a hard difficulty level. Hard. Not like crazy retarded, like you get one in, you know, like a 10% success rate. <laughs> That's good. So uh, another, on a side note, um, Polly J unfortunately had to step away from 2.0. He, um, I think he's working at the hospital. I think he's a nurse or I don't know. I don't want to get it wrong, but I do know he had to step away from uh, the game for uh, work reasons. Might be uh, rejoining us once his schedule lightens up a little bit, but has uh, has stepped out of 2.0 for now. So definitely want to honor him. Show this beautiful attack. Drops the poisons down. Takes care of that clan castle in perfect fashion. Defensive queen's already dead. So this queen's going to walk right in and across, you know, um, basically create this whole side of the funnel. And he's already gone ahead and sent in his golem down here. Goes ahead and opens up that wall on the side, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I think it was so he could just let the bowlers um, walk up and basically create the funnel on this side. And then I thought this was really crafty the way he drops his valves here. Just sort of waits and waits, dude. Waits for these two buildings, this mortar and that. Boom. As soon as they go down, gets those Valks in right on the wall. Just smashes through these uh, Lego walls like nothing. Bam, bam. And then jump spell down, letting everything into the core. Nice, beautiful funnel's been created. Just get that down. It'll be just perfect, but it doesn't matter. It's, there it goes. <laughs> just when the Valks arrive. So perfect timing. Everything goes into that core. Nice free spell right over the Tesla, Expo, and Inferno Tower. So down goes all of that stuff before it can get unfrozen. Beautiful. Heal spells down, getting those Valks right back up to full health. They smash that defensive king down in like two shots. 
Beautiful. Still has that queen ability. He's got a wizard and stuff working from one side. Got a bowler and these Valks now with the healer locked on to them. Um, you know, barely lost any Valks in this whole attack. So absolutely smashed a PJ. Nice job, buddy. Boom. Swag queen ability. Alrighty. Good old KB. So using bowlers, uh, 16. He brings in his client castle here. Nice little one for one trade there, but probably didn't need it. Um, that's kind of an interesting choice. His queen was going to kill it anyways. <coughs> Anyhow, queen's in there. He's got to get that rage spell down very quickly. Oh, man, I panic when that happens, <laughs> when my queen's health gets that low. And you know what? Because I swear to God, like it happened to me in two raids today where I think my queen's going to be fine and boom, just goes, just goes down. And it, uh, it's just so frustrating because you know if you just take your ability, you probably probably would have came with it way with the three star. I did. A, I hit my queen ability in a, an attack versus clutch. My brother in law um, in our little family thing on the nine side, and <laughs> I got a ninety nine point like five percent. Uh, had two Valkyries at the troll Tesla in the corner like mid swing, and I ran out of time. But um, all because on my entry, I did a little queen walk. Um, met them up with all my Valks, and I hit my queen ability like three times because she had an expo lock on her, and no, it didn't go off, and I lost my queen, and ended up with 99.5%. Oh, I'm going to hear about that one for a long, long time, I'll tell you that much, guys. Uh, but you see these bowlers just gutted this base, right? It has six balloons, really is just, just being very patient on the balloons. Finally, those air defense go down, so goes ahead and drops them all. Just getting distractions going on, the, uh, on all the point defense. Two over here, really got to take down those archer towers very quickly. Bam, bam, bowler step up, help out. A little bit of cleanup on either side of the base. Absolutely perfect, Alpha. Nice job, buddy. A couple little trash at 12. Oh, wow. Look at the king went all the way up there first. Usually they'll smash to that wall before going way up there. <clears throat> Boom. Street in the bag. All right, all right. Let's check out this uh, Town Hall Eleven Triple by BP. Mass Bowler, six healers, very old. You know, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Pre Minor Era Army Comp, right here. Um, you know, this was the thing when all of a sudden Bowlers blew up, and uh, like you, you saw so many of these attacks. Uh, some I thought was kind of interesting was he dropped his queen here. Usually when you see six bowl, uh, six healers and that amount of bowlers, you'll see guys drop four or five bowlers on either side of the funnel with three healers apiece and then just flood everything else up the middle. So I thought that was an interesting choice. The queen with two healers. So you can just kind of see how this pans out. Um, the other two healers are for the golem giant out of the clan castle. So I thought that was really good. Instant bowlers just lock on to that defensive queen, smash her in the head with their giant rocks. <laughs> it's like, that's so funny every time I see that. Uh, clan castle is out a little bit off on the poison here. Finally gets it going down. But those Valks did get a couple crucial swings in, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, raid spell goes down. Everything's now moving in. This eagle is very protected back there. <clears throat> so... Um, that always becomes a bit of a concern. Really nice timing on the Grand Warden ability, though, right as those first eagle shots were coming down. So bowlers are now right into this whole section. They've, they've got it out, you know, 55% of the base, basically this whole bottom section, which had a ton of defenses in it. All he's got to worry about is a few point defenses on the outside. Uh, the, the Tesla farm, obviously, and the eagle cannon. But bowlers are already working on that eagle cannon. I don't think they quite take it down. Maybe this one bowler does. Yeah, I think the one bowler gets it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So healers, um, everything on the outside on these uh, heroes, Grad and Warden walking around. Like unless this uh, air defense takes out all the healers, which is definitely not going to before that queen takes it out. <coughs> really uh, doesn't stand a chance, this base. I mean, it's just a matter of time at this point. Still has a raid spell as well. I thought that was kind of cool at this point in the raid. Definitely don't expect him to have a raid spell. Queen's going to do work, work on all these defenses. And all these buildings as the troops just walk around with the bowlers smashing everything. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to times two this a bit. 
Nice little mini on the outside. Beautiful. Swag Rage in the core. BP. Absolutely killed it. Nice job, buddy. All right, so there it is. Um, one thing I did want to mention um, is, or sort of apologize um, to War and Glory. We've had a uh, two losses. We've had a few few losses recently. Um, War and Glory, 108, 106. These freaking friendly wars kill me. I really hope they change this as well. Um, for the, a lot of you guys might not know this. Um, I'm pretty sure I get like 48 hours or more even on regular regular war um, replays to, 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 to do my content with. I get 24 hours apparently um, for friendly challenge replays. We did this war on a normal weekend. This was our weekend matchup. Um, so uh, obviously Warren Gore came away with the win, but it ended Sunday night. I got home Monday night to do the recap. I work early on Monday. I work all day on Monday. Um, I didn't do it Sunday. I didn't even just think about it once the war was over. You know, I got to get up early anyways. Get home from work to do it and, and the replay's already gone. And it just sucks. Um, but I did want to give a huge shout out to War and Glory. Although, uh, the, the war was crazy, okay? War and Glory came out of the gate with something like 25 for 30 TH9 triples. It was ridiculous. Like, their fresh hit percentage on the Town Hall 9s was crazy. Like, at least, I want to say 70, 65 or 70 percent. Just awesome. Really good. They came out of the gate, absolutely smashed it. I believe 2.0 even still ended up using, having to use a dip on a town hall nine in the end. Um, but then things sort of evened up when we got to the town hall 10 level. Uh, they did waste quite a few attacks, led us back into the game. 2.0 made a valiant, valiant attempt at a comeback, but Warren Glory was just too strong in the end and just had far too many uh, extra attacks from um, you know that domino effect result from their Town Hall 9. So thank you for the War, War and Glory. Sorry, uh, I could not recap it. Uh, I really hope they change this. This 24-hour business is garbage. Uh, but guys, I think that'll uh, that'll do it here. Uh, for your wisdom for wiser, just trying to help bag that next three-star. Till then, I'm out.